everybody and welcome to today's tutorial! In this video I'm going to show you how you can make a rainbow cake using polymer clay. The things you'll need will be polymer clay, liquid polymer clay, a knife, a needle and also some glaze. Start off by taking your white polymer clay and roll it into a ball. Then you can use your fingers to flatten the clay down until you have something that looks like this. Then repeat this process until you have six white circles in polymer clay. And next it's time to make the colorful parts of the cake. Here I'm taking some purple polymer clay, rolling it into a ball, and then I use my fingers to flatten it down. You can then repeat this process with the rest of the colors you want to have in your cake. Once you've done this with all of the colors, it's time to stack the cake. Take your colorful pots and add the white clay in between them. Once I had added all of my colors, the cake was a little bit too big, so here I'm just using my fingers to flatten it down a little bit. And then it's time to make the shape of the cake a little bit better. I just took a knife and cut the sides of it until I had a better shape. Then you can take some white clay and flatten it out. We're going to be using this clay to cover the cake. By doing this, it's going to be easier later on when we'll add the liquid clay. Here I'm just taking some more white clay and I'm going to use it to cover the top of the cake. Working with liquid polymer clay can be a little bit messy, so I decided to cut out a piece of the cake before adding the liquid clay. And this next step is optional, but if you want to give your cake a more realistic look, you can take a needle and use it to scrape the surface of the cake. In this way, you'll create a more realistic look. And now it's time to make the icing. Here I'm taking some white clay and I'm softening it a little bit with my hands. Then I'm adding the liquid clay and I'm using a dotting tool to mix it all up. Once you have a consistency that you're happy with, you can go ahead and add it to your cake. And then it's time for decorations. Here I'm taking some red clay to make some berries. I also decided to make some colorful sprinkles for my cake. I just made a bunch of really tiny balls and then I added them to the cake. Don't forget to give the cake piece the same decorations. Once you're happy with the way your cake looks like, you can go ahead and bake it. And then you can glaze the cake. And once your glaze is dried, your cake is finished. This is with a fun and colorful DIY. I hope you guys try it out. If you do, you can share it with me on Instagram. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!